actor, or as I personally prefer to call it, a costumed activist, is somebody who basically decides to not necessarily take a law in their own hands, but decides to basically take their own personal life in their own hands, um, both as far as safety and also as far as steering in the direction they wanted to go in, and basically taking that initiative, applying it towards society, and basically trying to make the world a better place in as legal a fashion as possible. Um, you know, it came out to the homeless, to crime fighting on the streets and stuff. And my definition of crime fighting, more so just trying to keep an eye on the streets and if, they, and if anything kind of catches their eye, so to speak, then going after it. You know, but obviously you know, legally law-abiding them. You have other folks out there that are more activists for whatever their cause and choices. Some people are animal rights activists, other people are children's rights activists, other people are homeless rights activists. There are people out there that are all about being fitness activists. You need to be healthy and strong in body and mind, you know. And so they say this is how you can do it. There's danger, man. And so in California, he's all here safety activists. Personally, Motor Mouth, or Motor, if you will, encompasses all the better aspects of my life. He's honest, he's straightforward, he's brave, he's willing to dash into the fire, if you will. I've spent probably over six grand on airfare, equipment, weapons, body armor, material for handouts for the homeless and stuff. We're doing a good service up there, so we're doing it to the bottom of our hearts. We're not doing it because somebody out there is telling us. We're not doing it because somebody is asking us to. We're doing it because we're compelled. Because we realize that at the end of the day, if we don't do this, we're going to be stricken with guilt that we did nothing about any, about any of this. I mean, because, I mean, someone's got to do something, you know? And sadly, most people do nothing. One of us probably of it will get shot and will get killed. That's just mathematical, a mathematical fact. That's what's gonna happen, that's what's gonna happen. And it's the one thing that I wish more people would get beyond. Like, you know what? Except death, realize that one of us is actually gonna go ahead and get whacked off being on the field. And the rest of us, we will mourn that day, and then we will pick it up. There's one up, and we will carry forth. I mean, you know the old saying, you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't force it to drink. It's the same thing for us. We can go out there and bust those asses and try to make a difference, but at the end of the day, people don't care about it and stuff, basically, and if people don't, you know, self-internalize, if you will, then at that time, it makes you want to ask, you're doing this kind of stuff, why am I doing this? What is it worth? And what you realize at the end of the day, though, is that I have to do this. If I don't do this, who's going to?